Welcome back into Talking Fitchburg. Uh, sticking with the kind of that wintry, icy weather out there today, we were lucky enough to kind of time everything out to have uh, Independent Living on today to talk about winter safety. And joining me is Emily Ock from uh, Independent Living. How are you doing this morning? I'm good. How are you? Hey, living the dream. Great. That's what I say to everybody. So, uh, so perfect day to talk about uh, winter safety out Definitely. there. Uh, uh, and related to uh, falls or, or stuff that can help you uh, stay safe in the winter time. Right. So uh, first off, uh, just give us the reminder of independent living, what you guys uh, do. Yes, uh, we are a local nonprofit here in Madison. Um, our main objective is to keep um, seniors and individuals with disabilities in their home for as long as possible, independently and safely. Yeah, so... Uh, taking that now and turning it into uh, this winter part that you know anybody can fall yes, during uh, really any time of the year mm -hmm. but uh, winter adds that a uh, little extra uh, instability and uh, maneuvering around and uh, in snow and ice can be very difficult so uh, what are some of the, the items or strategies uh, that can help improve your safety sure. um, I always tell people to plan ahead I mean even if the weather is perfect um, but definitely when it's icy and snowy plan ahead and make sure you have somebody around to clean up that ice and snow um, definitely don't go out if you don't need to um, I know a lot of people have appointments that they can't um, miss but yeah still try to stay home if possible um, try to have a good map and route to your car or wherever you may need to be um, and definitely don't carry any large items, anything like that. You really want your hands free to kind of make sure your balance is top notch. Sure, sure. And then of course, uh, dressing for the weather, yes. very important as well. Yes, um, don't want any slippery shoes. You wanna have good tread on your shoes. Um, you wanna be bundled up, but you don't want, of course, like I said, you don't wanna be kind of constricted and not able to kind of grab for railings bars things like that absolutely and then uh moving effectively i think this is the key yes. now you got the t you got bundled up and everything mm -hmm. you're ready to head out uh right um and i say this for any age most of us would need to slow down and make sure we take some good steps and definitely look where we're going when we're walking around in the snow and ice yeah uh we were talking about uh, earlier in the show of uh, bringing my uh, little one into daycare this morning and uh, having to do the shuffle in right. because, uh, <laughs> you know, I'm guiding her, but nobody's there to guide me. Yep, so right. uh, it's, definitely it's a, a key. So um, uh, how about uh, if you're using a walker cane or wheelchair outside? Uh, definitely make sure those wheels have good tread on them. Um, brakes, make sure they're um, ready to go. Um, you don't definitely don't want any brakes that are loose or um, just not working well. Um, and I did bring, if anybody has a cane or anything like that, there is um, cane grips on the bottom um, that can be great for kind of digging into that snow and ice um, for that. Didn't even know it existed. Right. I was thinking like the rubber bottoms or right. something on them for the indoors, but outdoors, <laughs> there, wow. Yep, pretty that thing can cut through some they, ice. If, if, definitely. <laughs> awesome, awesome. All right, uh, so you got the grip. Uh, and, and then last but not least, I think uh, the key here is ask for help. Yes. Definitely ask for help. I mean, a neighbor, I mean, call Independent Living. We do have some good resources for that. Um, but ask a family member if you need have an appointment coming up or anything like that. Um, it'd definitely be great to have an extra hand out in the weather like this. I'd throw out, too, that uh, carrying a cell phone or something mm -hmm. along with you, or yes. if, uh, if you're in the home, you have an alarm that you keep around right. your neck, anything like that, uh, you'll have that with you as well. Uh, so wrapping this up, uh, if you... Uh, are interested in getting information on how to uh, protect yourself both in the home out uh, mm -hmm. who do we call you call independent living <laughs> um, we do have a website independentlivinginc.org um, otherwise you can give us a call our main line is 274-7900 and you can ask for home modifications and I can definitely steer you wherever you need to be off the cuff question here for you yes challenge you a little mm -hmm. bit here um, I, when would you recommend somebody call because some people, like we read in the last segment, you know, might be afraid to call, might not realize that, oh, I've fallen three or four times this mm -hmm. year and, you know, haven't made the connection. So right. when's the right time to get in contact with you guys? Unfortunately, the right time's always before those things happen. But often, more often than not, we do get calls after things happen. So I would say if you have any, I mean, balance issues, any type of fear of falling, definitely give us a call. Um, it doesn't hurt to get a few items in just to make sure you're safe and those things don't happen.
Perfect. Well, again, hit the website, independentlivingincorp.org. Uh, mm -hmm. Check it out. Uh, and uh, Emily, thank you so much for uh, joining us this morning. And uh, we'll see you guys next month. Yes, thank Stay you. safe out there. Yes. All right, we'll take a quick break. We'll be right back. It is Talking Fitchburg.